So we can handle sine square, we can handle cosine square. And you might think, well, that was so fun, why don't we try cosine to the third, and then cosine to the fourth, and then cosine to the fifth, and all the powers of cosine just for fun, and see how that goes. And that actually turns out to be a very doable proposition for the most part, at least for the lower powers here, you don't need much than uh, more than trig subs, trig identities, I mean, and uh, some u subs. Here, let's take a look at this classical one, um, see how we would go about it. One way to go about it would be to maybe, this is a famous idea by the way, You often when you have three items like this, it, you might want to consider what would happen if you separate them into pieces. For example, I put two of them here and one of them here. The total amount is still three of them, three cosines. But this has the advantage that I could replace this one with a famous identity, one minus sine square x, this can always be exchanged for a cosine and uh, for a cosine square. This is the famous identity. This piece right here is the same as that, they're equivalent. Um, and that allows me to play the following game. What if I made a u substitution? What if I made uh, a u substitution where my u was equal to sine of x? Then the differential of u would be equal to cosine of x dx. And I try to think one move ahead if I could. That would mean that this piece would be 1 minus u square, because this is sine 1 minus u square. And over here I would have a plain old du. Du can be exchanged for exactly that amount. And so the integral would look something like this. It would look like the integral of 1 minus u square du, which of course is just a polynomial where we could just use the power rule. So it turns out every time you've got an odd number of these, you can always do play that game. Save one of them on the side here and turn the even number ones for sines or cosine depending on what it is. If it's cosine you turn it to sine squares. If it was sine squares you would turn it to cosine squares. And this would be your u. And everything would work out nicely. This is, a, there's, this is not the only one you can solve using this idea. There's a large family of them that you can use this idea on. And this becomes a u minus u to the third over 3 plus a constant which of course would be equal to uh, sine of x minus sine to the third of x over 3 plus a constant. Just like that. Clear? Alright, that was too easy, right? Come back for some more.